natong ten. Welcome to Pagsubay, an Agustinian Legacy Journey. Natives believe that this town's ancient settlement was known as Nabulho or other accounts say it is Bulho. Let's get to know why. Busa, also pa may atong dugayan. Ali, magsubay tabay. Around 104 kilometers from Cebu City is the town of Bolhoon. The town was founded by the Augustinians as a visita of Karkar in 1599. It's a small plateau near the beach with land that are irrigated by a small river that originated from a nearby elevated hill on the opposite side of the sea. The town's name are renditions of descriptive terms of Bolhoon's landscape. The most interesting of all renditions of Bolhoon's name is that of Monsignor Constantino Batoktoy, a retired priest, writer, and native of Bolhoon. He endorsed the idea that Bolhoon is a name referring to the distinct topographical feature of the town, the abundance of springs, or the presence of springs. The numerous springs around the population today attests to this appropriate naming of the place which has survived through time. In the 1900s, the population never appreciably increased due to the frequency of raids from the pirates. Father Julian Bermejo built a chain of watchtowers along the shorelines from Puna Tanong or Santander to Manhage, which was later extended up to Karkar, for a total length of 96 kilometers. He also installed a telegraphic system for the purpose of constant communication among towns in cases of impending raids. Bolhoon became an independent parish in 1690 under the patronage of Nuestra Señora del Patrocinio de María. A parish is literally a community. Thus, first of all, it must consist of people. The friars made sure that they had people men and women who were first of all Christians, under their care in order to set up an ecclesiastical visita, and later on, a parish. A visiting Augustinian friar from Karkar then served the newly constituted Christian village in Bolhoon. Bolhoon is the last parish handled or managed by the Augustinians until 1948, after the World War II. But the pioneering century, the 1600s, was hardly compelling. It took much longer for the Visita that was founded in 1599 to be constituted into a parish in 1690. From the 1590s up to this time and even beyond, the Bohol Sea was plagued with slave raiding sea pirates, the coastal villages perilously plundered. This was a time of conversion and expansion of the Catholic faith carried out by only a few friars. The Bolhoon Parish, unable to defend itself, was torched in 1782 and everything including its original records was lost. The first few buildings were most likely ruined during the pirate raids of 1782 that gutted almost all of the town. The following year, 1783, Bolhoon rose from the ashes as it rebuilds its church with coral stones and lime mortar gradually. Father Ambrosio Otero started the reconstruction of a new church in that year. The work was continued by Father Manuel Cordero in 1794. It was finished by Father Julian Bermejo who had a stone fence built to enclose the convent and the church as an added protective measure. Bolhoon was already the most fortified town in southern Cebu in 1830. The church is facing what used to be the eastern wall toward the Bohol Sea where the sun arises. The Church of Masonry has a main nave and transept. It has 28 pilasters of mortar and lime which support the walls. The bar-reliefs, floral and geometric motifs enhance the austere classic lines of the facade. 
both elements blend well, creating a pleasant composition. This church was declared as a national cultural treasure by the National Museum of the Philippines and a national historical landmark by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Nuestra Señora Patrocinio de María, or the Patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, is the patroness of the municipality of Bolhoon. The patroness shows an image of a mother and a child. The second Saturday of the month is the devotional day dedicated to the Blessed Virgin. The feast is celebrated every second Saturday of November, a way of thanksgiving to the patronage she gave to Bolhoanons. Numerous miracles were attributed to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin where more devotees come to pray for her intercession and protection. With the countless miracles, the 421-year-old miraculous image of Nuestra Señora Patrocinio de Maria of Bolhoon was episcopally crowned by His Excellency Jose Espalma Didi, the Archbishop of Cebu, last November 14, 2020. Nabulho, Nibulho, or Bulho, or whichever name Bolhoon may have originated, its rich history and marvelous beauty is like that of a spring that continuously flows and never fails to amaze us. For plans of visiting this town, please refer to the link on the description of this video. For updates of the Santo Nino at 500 activities, please keep posted through our official website and social media accounts flashed on your screens. I'm Sheila, and join me as we learn and explore together. Kini Ang, Pagsubay, and Agustinian Legacy Journey.